Hi guys, my name is Kasim Abdul Kadir and I'm from Kenya. And uh, I studied at the Academy of Pastry Arts in uh, 2018. I enrolled for a nine months advanced diploma in uh, culinary arts under Chef Charles and Chef Jagdish. And I currently work at uh, Radisson Blue, Nairobi, here in Kenya, at uh, Chop House, it's a fine, fine dining restaurant. Without talking much, Let's get started today. So for today we're going to be making a chicken roulade with a mushroom filling. So I'm going to give, uh, take you through the basic ingredients. So first we'll start with the chicken roulade. So where we'll need uh, our chicken, let's come close. It's chicken uh, leg and uh, thigh deboned with the skin. And that's our basic marination consisting with melted butter, garlic and uh, rosemary we have our salt and pepper for the filling we have a medium sized onion with uh, around 2 or 3 cloves of garlic chopped you can roughly chop them because we're we gonna blend all this together that's my parsley we have uh, chopped mushrooms and uh, chicken breast I used one chicken breast and uh, over here we have uh, one egg I'll basically use the egg white for the binding and we have some thyme away so now we're gonna start with the roulade we have our plain film So first we are going to start with uh, putting the skin on because that's going to protect our chicken if you have your chicken like deboned and it's kind of uh, having it's cut somehow so this chicken will help it uh, help protect your, the roulade just going to keep it like that Basically this uh, recipe is inspired from Academy. It's something we did in Academy but with a little bit of a twist and a, a little bit of modification. So now we're gonna take our chicken, deep on chicken breast, chicken uh, thigh and uh, leg. Just place it over the skin like that. So we're gonna do it and then uh, you just wanna flat it out a bit because you don't want uneven it's gonna be uneven right now because one part is big one part is small so we're gonna just flatten it out a bit just gonna cover this like that to be even that's it you don't want to overdo it because you're gonna end up tearing your chicken skin so that's it So we're gonna leave this like that as we prepare our, the filling. So before doing the filling, we'll just uh, slightly marinate it, some salt. Just 
bit, a bit of salt all over some black pepper and of course our marination the one we prepared I repeat again this is just melted butter garlic and rosemary we're just gonna brush it like that we have all that flavor is gonna give the chicken flavor the rosemary the garlic I use fine chopped garlic, you, can, you guys can use uh, garlic paste, it's not an issue. That's how it's supposed to be done. That's it. And now we're gonna do our chicken filling. For the, the filling for the lard. Let's get to you. So basically we'll just uh, saute garlic, onions and uh, mushroom because we don't want to put just blend everything raw. Mushroom consists of too much moisture so we'll just cook it down, remove all the moisture from the onions, mushrooms because after blending it, if we blend it raw like that, we'll end up uh, having our lard won't, won't stay cooked, 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 when we'll cook it, it won't stay even. If we don't want to fall it, make it fall apart. It's gonna heat up the pan. Gonna put our butter. And some olive oil. That's it. Once your pan is nice and hot, go in with your on onions and garlic. Just want to saute it. You don't put anything raw in it. And now we'll add our thyme. Thyme, chicken, mushroom goes very well. Always, whenever, whenever you're making something with chicken, a continental dish, you always use thyme because mushroom, mushrooms like thyme and go very well with chicken also. So it's a very good combination. Just want to do that. Don't put this. Just want to get those leaves. That's it. You will like me. And we'll add our chicken. I mean, sorry. We're gonna add our mushrooms and chop parsley.
So as you can see, those mushrooms, they're already dehydrating. With the mushrooms, we have parsley, onions, garlic, and thyme. Yeah, chef. We have thyme, mushrooms, garlic, onions, parsley. And that's it. We're just gonna season it some black pepper and some salt and give this a quick mix and now we're gonna just blend all this We'll add a, word. a bit of uh, egg white for the binding. That's it. And we're gonna add some chi our chicken in it. I'm just gonna be using half chicken. And I'm gonna just blend it. This is basically a chicken roulade with uh, mushrooms. No fancy name, nothing. Just a chicken roulade, basic chicken roulade with mushrooms. So our filling now is ready, as you can see. It's not falling apart. It's a perfect consistency. Now we're just gonna do the filling and I'm gonna show you how we will roll it. You don't want to overfill this. Just from the beginning. If you overfill if you overfill your roulette, it's gonna fall apart when you cook it, it won't roll properly, and basically you won't have the good end product. You can do this with a piping bag, it's not an issue. I'm just gonna use a spoon. I guess that's it. And we're just gonna roll it. Just like that. Inside. 
And now you're gonna need an aluminium foil. We're gonna cook it this way. I'm gonna tell you how we have two procedures of cooking. Whichever you guys are comfortable with, you're gonna use that. So I, I'm basically, I basically, you can basically boil boil the chicken. I mean, poach the chicken. You have to wrap it carefully in your cling film. When you poach it, you don't want any water to go through because it's basically at the end of the day you will have boiled chicken. And uh, if you want, you can bake it also. We don't want any air bubbles. Just gonna remove any air bubbles in it. Seal it tight. And gonna roll it. And you want it to be very, very tight. You don't want any space. That's how it's exactly supposed to look after you finish it. You want it to be super tight. And that's it. That's how it's supposed to look. It's all even. No air bubbles. So basically, we can we can bake this. I personally I personally baked it at uh, around 180 degrees for like uh, one hour, 45 minutes to one hour. After 45 minutes, you have, you you want to check on your chicken if it's cooked or not. You can just cut a little bit to just check if the process if the if the chicken is cooked or not. Or you can just poach it. Poaching it just basically boil some water in a pot. And just drop it. You want to, if you want, if you're not sure, you you have some doubt if maybe water will go in again or something. You just do a clean, just keep a clean film, roll it in clean film again, secure it tight, and just boil it for around uh, an hour, one hour, fifteen minutes, and then you can check. If not cooked, then you can just put it in again. So basically, I, I'm gonna cook it later on. I already, I already have the cooked product and I'm going to show you guys how it's, how it's, how it's going to look. So that's my cooked product. I haven't opened it. I just checked if the chicken is cooked. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Just going to open this. I secured it almost twice. You need to get your hands dirty a bit. Just gonna put this. Okay, so basically that's how it's gonna be look. It's gonna look. Gonna trim the sides. Right now it looks like boiled chicken, but to get the crust, we we'll just pan sear it. And you want before before pan searing this to get the crust, you you want to freeze it or keep it in the fridge, let it cool down completely, because if it's hot and you remove it hot and you try and pan sear it when it's hot, your roulade will 
completely fall apart and you won't be happy with the results. About pan over here. Just gonna put some butter. Put some olive oil. You don't want the butter to burn. So I'm gonna put our chicken in. Give it a good crust. Yeah, this is a chicken roulade. See, that's, that's how you want golden brown. That's basically the that's the skin, the chicken skin. You're gonna cook it to a golden brown. It's a pretty good color. So after that, just gonna remove it off the heat. I'm gonna show you how to plate this. That's it. Now that's the chicken roulade with mushrooms. Place it on the shopping board. Now I'm gonna show you how to plate it. So over here we have simple Greek yogurt, which is just gonna be like a drizzle on the plate. I had some uh, leftover. What do you call this? I had some leftover butternut puree, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just show you how to plate it with some leftover butternut puree. You can use carrot and ginger puree. Anything, almond puree, pea puree, and uh, first we're gonna cut it. Chicken is cooked. That's how it's gonna look. Your knife should be nice and sharp. I don't have a sharp knife over here, I guess. But it's gonna do its job. Just gonna keep the extra in the plate.
So now we're gonna plate and add some leftover mushroom sauce also. So we're gonna it's gonna give a very good accompaniment as accompaniment sauce to the chicken because mushroom sauce, chicken, mushroom filling, it's gonna be just awesome. Take our spoon, give it a quick mix. And like that. Now we're just gonna take our butternut puree. And I'm gonna get the mushroom sauce now. Just gonna heat up the mushroom sauce. That's our mushroom sauce. I had some remaining last night. So I'm gonna use it as an accompaniment. Accompaniment sauce. Just wanna heat it up a bit. Our sauce is nice and boiling right now. Remove it off the heat. And you're just gonna drizzle it on top of the chicken. Like that. And that's it. A simple chi chicken roulade, mushroom filling, and Greek yogurt with some uh, basic plating. So now I just I'm just gonna give you like five minutes to for question and answer. Whatever whatever doubts you guys have, you can ask me. And I'm gonna try and clear them out. If not, you guys can always DM me and ask me any questions. Hi Utkash, do you have any questions? Thank you, thanks bro. If you guys any, you have any questions to ask me, you can go ahead right now. Oh, that's parsley. The green leaf is parsley. 
mushroom sauce recipe I, I basically used I, I made some demi glaze and I made some mushroom sauce out of it thank you I have more ideas for filling um, you can use instead of chicken you can use uh, beef you can use uh, if you don't if you're a vegetarian you can just uh, put some uh, bell peppers instead of mushrooms you can put bell peppers that's a butternut puree just basic roasted butternut I had some butternut so I just roasted it and uh, blended it some cream and uh, salt and pepper Any more questions? You're welcome, Utkash. Yeah, sure, I'm going to be doing more live sessions, hopefully. The mushroom sauce it's a process it's um, uh, I think I'll make a video also, also about it how to make mushroom sauce the base basically it's a demi glaze roasted bones roasted vegetables hello Hamza Baga Abhijit chef I'm good chicken roulade with uh, Mushroom That's what's going on <laughs> Ruma de Mitali, thank you so much No problem the video is gonna be saved and uh, you guys can watch it I, I guess it's fully detailed if you have any doubts you just can text me you, you can DM me I'm good. Oh, Kenya. Situation in Kenya is it's okay. We're just going move we're just moving on. <laughs> this recipe is just basic like you can get these ingredients in your local market. It's a simple dish. Yeah, sure. Next time I'm gonna put off the comments, hopefully. Thank you, Abhijit. Mushroom ragu. But mushroom ragu has cream. If you put cream, your... What do you call this? The filling will be too runny and... Uh, while you're rolling your roulade, it's gonna be falling apart your filling will be coming off when you cook it your filling also will come off you don't want your filling runny you want your filling to be a thick consistency from Pakistan hi how are you you're welcome Mola from Kenya <laughs> yeah hopefully next time I'm gonna do some dessert also Oh, that's good. I hope you loved Kenya.
I came I came all the way to India. I came all the way to India for my culinary course, the advanced diploma at uh, Academy of Pastry Arts. That's where I did my course. Tiramisu. Oh, hopefully we're gonna do it. It's a long process, but we, I'm gonna think about it. You should follow the academy page also because there are so many other people other people doing live videos and stuff desserts you guys can follow up and uh, hopefully you get many more recipes IHM I prefer the academy because it's full hands-on a little bit of theory and uh, you get to do everything Yeah, I heard about it when I was doing my research, coming to India. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna take myself. Yeah, sure, Utkash, I'm gonna be doing the steam fish soon. Hi, Chef Mukesh. Thank you. <laughs> Italian. Some there's some uh, live videos were done before, like uh, chef made uh, one of the chefs made. Uh, Pasta, ravioli, if I'm not wrong, it's there on the page also. Fish roulade, fish roulade is very tricky. You need the right fish, you need the right consistency, and uh, yeah. Basically, we do fish roulade at the hotel. Basically, the fish, we, we use a uh, red snapper, we just roll it. Marinate with chamomile uh, vinaigrette and it's not cooked. Thinly sliced, just it's like cured with uh, the chamomile vinaigrette with all the citrus. Carbonara sauce. Yeah, it's supposed to be boneless. Utkash carbonara sauce. I'm gonna do my research and uh, and text you. I'm surely going to DM you and uh, let, give you the recipe. For fish roulade, best fish, I'd prefer red snapper or uh, sea bass. Thank you, Utkash. I hope I answered your questions. Thank you so much Utkash. Thank you for watching the video. Carbonara sauce is used in pasta. It's an Italian dish. If you guys if you guys have more doubts, more questions, you can uh, DM me and um, I'm sure if I know I'm going to get back to you. If uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to do my research and hopefully let you know also. Thank you all so much for watching. 
You guys stay safe. Stay indoors. Goodbye.